We begin today the Gemara on Daf Nun Gimel Amud Beis, the last line of the Yamud. Omar Rab Yirmiyeh Bira Omar Rav. Rab Yirmiyeh from Bira, the name of Rav said, or rather, sorry, Omar Rav Yehuda, the name of Rav Yehuda. Haiman the Shoda Lifta Be Pilidara. A person that threw the seeds of a turnip into the crevices that there are in the ground. And uh, he didn't, he didn't uh, plow anything, he didn't cover it, he didn't do it, just dropped it, threw them into the ground. And we're talking here about the Ara de Ger, a, a ground, a field that's now Hefker, because it belonged to a Ger that passed away and has no one that inherits his property. And he wants to be kinded from Hefker. Loi hab chazake. This does not count as a chazake. Chazake is no goda porats, which are different ways of how you improve the karka. Doing this did not improve the karka in any way. The Rosh Bamir explains, if you actually plow, so you're doing something in the actual karka itself, you improved it. But in this case, you didn't plow, you didn't do anything, you just dropped those seeds and then it grew. Come on, it explains itself part of it, it has before this. Let's see, my time, eh? what's the reason? In the time when you threw the seeds into the ground, there is no improvement in the ground here at that point. He didn't properly, he didn't actually uh, plow the earth. And then later when it grows and he eats from the produce, then it's growing on its own. So now the Rosh Baham adds, are you going to say the fact that he ate from the ground, that itself should be a chazoke? So the Rosh Baham says, no. Eating from a ground is not, the produce is not qualified for a chazoke. Even though the Gemara did say before, regarding a person that spread out bedding on the ground, and he uses the ground in that way, that it's a chazake. So you would think that if he's using this earth here to grow and then to eat from it, it should also be a chazake. The Rosh Baham says it's not the same thing. There you're actually lying on the ground itself. Here, you're not mamish using the lying on the ground itself. It grows automatically and then you eat from it, that's not a chazake. So the action that you did in the beginning is not a chazake, the eating from it later is not a chazake. So there's no kidding here. Amar Shmuel, Shmuel said, Haiman the Pashach, Dikla, a person that prunes the branches of a palm tree, Adaita the Dikla. If he's doing it for the benefit of this palm tree, that it should grow better, Kani. So then he does acquire, because now he's doing something in the palm tree itself to improve it. Adaita the Chivasa, however, if he's cutting these branches because he wants to use it as animal feed for his animals, then like Kani, he's not going to be Kaina, because he's not doing it as an improvement for the tree. He's doing it with a different kavana. He's doing it just to, to take for his animals. So now, hey, chidomi, how do we see the difference? If we look at the action itself, is there a way how we could determine what is the stam? How, what, what is the assumption of what the person did? Shoko ma'igisa, ma'igisa, if he takes off branches from this side, from that side, it's all balanced. So now we know how to the dikla. So stam, we say that he's doing this in order to improve the tree. Kula machad gisa, however, if he's taking all the branches off from one side, which actually ruins the tree, they're just cutting off all from one side and the other side it is growing, then we know that Atay to Dechevasa. Then it's clear he's not doing it for the benefit of the tree, he's doing it because he wants to feed his animals. But Mashmul, another Allah Hashmul said, Haiman the Zachi Zichya, a person that's clearing out all the branches and twigs that there are in his property. So is this considered to be improving the property? So again, Atay to Dara, if he did it with the intention to clear out and to improve the quality of this place, of the ground. So Kani, you will be kind of I the tzivi. However, if he's clearing out the, the wood and the twigs there because he wants it for firewood, like Kani, then he will not be kind of. Hey, Chidomi, how is this? We you see the difference in what the person is doing. Shoka, Rabrevi Zutri, if he took big pieces of logs of wood and small twigs and branches, now we know Adai Tadara. He's clearing it all out because he wants the earth to be clear, to be able to plow and to plant. But if he only takes the big logs of wood, and he leaves this, the, the small twigs of branches, and Adai to the Tzivi, then we know he's taking the, the logs just for firewood. Rama Shmuel, another Allah Shmuel said, Haiman the Askel Tikla, a person that is getting rid of the stumbling blocks that there are in his uh, property, which means he has a property that has these mounds of earth or these ditches in it. It's not smooth, it's not uh, flat. So if he's smoothing it out, if he's doing it with the intention to smooth out the ground so now he can go and plow and plant, Connie, he'll acquire it. 
I die to the Beidori, if he's not doing it to improve the ground here, in order to plow and plant, then that's what the ground is designated for. Rather, he's just doing it to give himself a flat area that he could have, a threshing floor, to thresh his uh, wheat or his grain. So then, that's not a benefit, that's not an improvement of the ground. Like Connie, he will not acquire it. Hey, Chidomi, how is this? Where do we see the difference? What his intention is? If the person takes a mound of earth, and he puts it into a ditch, so he smooths it out that way, that by, by when you do that in the entire ground, so now it's all flat, and so now you know that he's doing it for the purpose to flatten out the ground, so then he can come and plow and plant properly. But molya bemolya, venatsa benatsa, if there's areas of ditches and mounds, and what he does is, the area where there's mounds, he just, he, he brings more earth there to flatten out, but then there's gonna be an area that's going to be higher. And then the area where there were ditches, he's just going to broaden these ditches and there's going to be an area where it's going to be lower, but he's just making himself a flat area. So why is he doing this? The earth is still not going to be all flat on one level. So then, you know, a die to the Beidari. He's just flattening himself out one little area, whether higher up or whether lower down, where he can use it as a threshing floor. It's not for the benefit of the karka itself. Another halacha about the Shmuel said, Hayman the Posach, Mahiyabara, a person that open, makes an opening so that water could come into this uh, field. Adai to the Ara, if he did it for the benefit of the field itself, that it should be water, the Kani, he'll acquire. Adai to the Kavri, if he's only doing it because this is water from a lake that will now come flow into this ground, and now he'll be able to catch the fish that come <coughs> in with it, like Kani, then he will not acquire. He's doing it just to catch fish. Echidami, how is this? How do we see the difference? Pasach today, Bavi, if he makes two openings that the water comes in from one end and it flows straight out from another end, so then Chadmail, Chadmapik, from one end it comes in and from the other end the water goes out. Adai to the Kavri, so why is he doing this? The water flows straight out. He's only doing it so that the fish come in with the water and he can meanwhile catch the fish. But Chadmav, if he makes one opening, Adai to the huh? Yeah, if he makes only one opening, then Adai to Dara. So then he wants the water, he wants to let the water into the field, and the water could stay there and get absorbed in the field. So he's improving the quality of the uh, field itself. Even if while he do does this, he catches fish as well, it doesn't matter. But he's doing it to uh, in improve the quality of the field. So all this shows that Kenya, we're talking about the Kenya Chazake. And Kenya Chazake, Noel Goda Parats, is the example that it says in the Mishnah and the Braise. But these are other kinds of examples where a person does something to improve the Karka. And it has to be clear that he's doing it to improve the Karka, not just for another purpose. No, 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 no. We're talking about the Kenya Chazake, which is an act, a mice, a Kenya that you do and you kind of right away. So <coughs> somebody brings a story in connection to this. Ahi Yitze, there was a woman, the Achla Dikla Betavshicha that she was using a palm tree that was hefker and she was zeichen in it. How was she zeichen in it? By tafshicha, which is what we mentioned before, that she was pruning the branches from the tree. This was for 13 years. But she was cutting it from the tree only on one side that it was clear that she was doing it just to feed her animals. But she wasn't really doing it for the benefit of to improve the tree itself. After 13 years, also a person came along and Rafik to say porta. And he dug by the tree, underneath by the tree a little bit to improve the growth of the tree. So now he did something that actually improves the tree. Also, like I made the Levi, so they came to Levi. Vamri la, Kamei de Marokve, they came to Levi, or they say they came to Marokve. And I could be all day. And Levi said, or Marokve said, that this belongs to the person that actually improved the improve the tree. yeah the tree itself so even though she was spent 13 years with it but nevertheless it goes to him so also she came she screamed in front of him that look i worked here for 13 years and i and now he does a small thing and it's his so he said to her my what, what can i do for you you didn't make the chazaka the way people are maxican something you didn't improve the tree you were pruning the tree, cutting it on one side, just using it to feed the animals. That's not improving the tree. It's not a Kenyan of a chazake. Omar Rav, Rav said, Hatzor, Tzur, a Ger, a person that makes a picture in a wall or in a house, in a Nixi Ger, that's now Hefker, and you want to be Zeichir in this. And the Rashbam, very interesting, points out that this is specifically not a drawing of a sort, but rather it's a specific a drawing of a Chaya or a Oif, of an animal or of a bird, a specific kind of a drawing. So then, Kona, you kind of this. 
Okay, before, when, we, when the Gemara spoke about a similar thing, there it said it has to be a'ama ala'ama, it gives a specific shear. But here, this kind of a drawing that he's talking about, yikaina, even if it's smaller. And the Gemara says, where do we know that Rav holds this? Because the Rav, lekani leginsa, the Bey Rav, elabitsurta. Rav did not acquire a garden, which was near the yeshiva where Rav was, only with this kind of a tsuda, this kind of a picture that he drew over there in that property. And that was the improvement of the property, and that's how he was kaina. We learned the following machlekes, also regarding being zeiche in a property from Hefker, soda hamasun yemes mimitzarel. If it's a field that has very specific borders, so Amar Ravuna Amar Rav, Ravuna said in the name of Rav, kivu shehikish ba makish echad. If you just dug in one area of that field, it could be very big, but you dug in one area, kana kula. You acquire the you acquire the entire field. Shmuel Amar, however, Shmuel says like kana ella makim makushe bovat. You're only going to be kind of in that area where you actually dog over there. But not, you're not going to acquire the entire area. Uh, the Rajman points out that this is only when you're acquiring from Hefker. But if you're acquiring it for someone that's selling it to you, and you give them the money for the value of the entire property, so then you're kind of the whole thing. And you could actually even be kind of other properties along with the Kenyan here, as Allah always is regarding Karka. If you're buying more than one property, you make a Kenyan in one, and you can buy everything with this one Kenyan. If it's a property that does not have borders, it's just like an open valley, and uh, and it goes it, it, it goes just from one property to another, and it goes into a shusarabim, and it's not uh, in an area where you can see exactly what the borders are. So at kama, according to Rav, that says that you make a kinyan here and you kind of the whole place. But if you hear those, if there's no clear borders, so according to Rav, how far will you be kind of? Amar Rav Papa, so Rav Papa says as follows. That if you, this property it doesn't have clear borders, but there's, 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 there's the size of what the property is. So there's Mizrach, Mairev, Tzofen, and Dorem. So the Rajvam describes if you have two rows in the property that go from, from Mizrach to Mairev, and those two rows, the ox goes and plows in one direction and then comes back and plows another row. So even if it's that on one side of the property, it plowed these two rows. Now you'll be kind of the entire property from Mizrach to Maidah, Tzof and Tadarim. Those two rows. Amr Rav Yudah Amr Shmuel, Rav Yudah said in the name of Shmuel, Nechsei Oivet Kechavim, Harehein Kemidbar. In the case of a person that's buying a property from a guy, this property now will have a status of Hefker, like a Midbar, like a desert. Now what's the case we're talking about? So as we'll see in the continuation of the Gemara, it's talking about a case where a person is buying from the guy, and he paid the guy already. So the guy get, gets his money. So f- as far as the guy is concerned, he gave up his ownership on this karka. It's sold. So it's not his anymore. But the Yisrael that's buying it from the guy did not yet get a document, a shtar, a deed, that this property is his. So the Yisrael was not kind it yet. And the reason is, even a Yisrael that buys from another Yisrael, even after you pay Kesef, the minig in most places is that the, ki- the Kesef does not make the Kenyan itself until you actually get a shtar, you get the deed of the property. Definitely, when a yid buys from a guy and he's afraid that the guy is dishonest, he wants to have a star that he bought the property from this guy. So you're not going to be kind until you get that star. So here the Gemara is talking about a case where he paid the money and he did not get a star yet. So in such a time, it's, it's like a midbar, it's like a desert, kolamachzik ben, zocha ben, anybody that will come in between and chaparain and be machzik in this, He'll be zayich in it. And the Gemara explains the reason. The My time, man, a second year, well, well the, about the money, I'll explain in a second, but first let's see the reason for the halacha itself. My time, man, what's the reason? Because this guy that's selling, as soon as the money comes to his hands, is talikle. So now he's removed his ownership, he gave up his ownership. But Yisrael, like the year does not acquire until he gets a star in his hands. So therefore, if it's in between, when he gave the guy money, but he did not yet get a star, so he didn't acquire it yet. So now at that time period, it's like Hefker. Anyone, another year that comes in between and it's Machzik in it, he'll acquire it then. So regarding the money, I, the first year went and paid money, and the second year is causing the loss to the first year that paid money for this. So first the Rashbam says, well, the second year is going to have to reimburse the first for the money that he loses. But then the Rashbam says, no, that's not the pshat. 
the second bar, the second lekeach that went and was machzik in it does not have to reimburse him because the Gemara uses the term midbar that it's mamish like hefke you could be zeicher. And that uh, first buyer is going to have to go back to the guy and get back his money. He's going to have to work it out with the guy. It's uh, if, if the guy is going to be ready to give him back the money. That's his problem. But the Rashbam does say this second year that went and chapped that ein and was in it in this time in between before this uh, first buyer got the star. So he's called a Rasha. There's a Gemara in Kedushan that says, Ani, I'm a bacharare, someone that's trying to acquire something, and someone else comes and chaps it out of him, you call it a Rasha. So what the second person is doing is definitely not appropriate, chapping it away from this person that was in the, in the, mid, in the middle of buying it, like in contract, and he already paid. And so, but, so he's a Rasha. But the Chazake of the second deed will take effect, because at that time period, nobody has any rights over it. Nobody has any ownership of it. The second one gave money also <clears throat> to the guy? No, the second one just comes in as machzik. Doesn't, that doesn't say anything about money. He comes in, he's machzik, and then he's kind of. And he gets a star. No, he doesn't get a star from anybody so either. No it's Hefke, it's Hefke. Who's he getting a star from? So what's the difference it's Hefke. Nobody gets a star. What's the difference yeah, the, the, first one, the first one bought it from the guy. So the first one, his kavana was only to buy it when he gets the star. The second one, though, at that point, it's Hefke. Nobody owns it, so he comes in, he's machzik in it, and he's zeichen. There's no star. He's machzik in it from Hefke. So I'm going to buy it from Yosef. I'm going to ask Rav Yosef about this aloha. Mi yom ha-shmol hoche? Could it be that Shmuel said this? But didn't Shmuel say, Dine, the Machuse, Dine, the laws of a government in the country are the law that you have to follow, and even Alpi Aloche, it, it, it establishes what the Aloche is. And therefore, regarding such a case, the law of the land is that the king says, You can't acquire a property unless you get a shtar. So the second person that wants to come in between and just be machzik and not get a star from the original owner, the guy that was selling, according to the Dina de Machuse, you will not acquire. So how could Shmuel say that in such a case you could and go and be machzik in it if it's against the law of the country? Amale. So Rav Yasef answers, Anala Yadaina. I don't know um, what the answer to your question is, or rather the Rashbam actually says that he had a simple answer to the question, but he didn't even bother giving him the answer because he says, I'll tell you an actual story of what happened and how the Psaktin was, and the Psaktin was like what Shmuel said here. Of the Hava, there was a story, Bedure de Reusa, which is either the name of a certain village, or the Rashbam says it's a village of shepherds. Be Yisrael, the Zavan Adam, This case, a Yid that bought a property from a guy. And he already paid for it, but he didn't get the star yet. And another yid came in between. And Rafik Bey Porte, he made a kingdom of Chazaka by digging in it a little bit. And he wanted to be kind of in between. And also, the came to Rav Yehuda. He came to Rav Yehuda. And Oipen Biyad the Shani. And Rav Yehuda said, like uh, what he said before in the name of Shmuel, that the second one that was machzik in between is going to be kainet. So you see here that this is uh, how we pass him. So the Rashbam says that he didn't bother answering the question about Dina de Machuse because apparently that's not such a hard question to answer. You can just say, maybe it's not the Dina de Machuse. Maybe you could be Zeich in something without a star. So not necessarily is it a Dina de Machuse that you must have a star to be Zeich in something. But Abai didn't uh, accept this answer based on this story that happened there. Oh, Malay, Abai says to Rav Yosef, Dure de Rehusa, comrade, you're bringing me a Rai from this village and that story that happened there. Awesome, over there, the reason why the second one is Zeche, that came and was Machzik in between, it's a different story. Bagi Metamre Havo. This is a place where these properties, the people that own these properties, were hiding it. What does hiding it mean? They were hiding it from the authorities. They weren't paying taxes that they were supposed to pay on these properties. The Inu Gafayu, Loihaviyavi, Taxe, Taske, Lamalka. They weren't paying their taxes to the king. Umalka Oma. And the king, so the law of the country is that man the yav taske, the one that is going to pay taxes, lechalare, he's the one that has the right to be zeich in the karka. So in that story, the case over there was, the second person that came in between to be zeich, came to be zeich on manas to pay the taxes. This guy that was selling it to the first buyer was a guy that didn't have a proper legal rights to it because he wasn't paying his taxes. That's why over there, the, the second buyer is kind of, but not because of the halacha that Shmuel said. So from there, it's not a raya. The Gemara brings another story, Rav Huna Zavan Adam Oivik Chavim. Rav Huna bought a property from a guy in this kind of situation where he paid, but he didn't get a star yet for it. Osi Yisrael Acher, another yid came in between, Rafik Bey Porta, and he dug, he made a king of Chazaki in between. And now Osla came to Rav Nachman, they came to Rav Nachman, and Rav Nachman said, Oikibi Yodeh, he gave it to the second person, like Shmuel Paskin. 
Amalei, so Rav Huna says to Rav Nachman, my daiteich, what, what's your, the reasoning for your psak din? Is it because the Amma Shmuel, Shmuel said, Nichsev kechav marein kemidbar, that a property of a guy that you buy, and you, and you paid for it, and you didn't get the star for it yet. So then it's a midbar in between, it's like hefker, and v'chol ha-machsuk ben zacha, and therefore anyone could come and be machsuk in it in between. Levedli mar, k'yidach to If you're paskening over here in this case, like this statement of Shmuel, so now, if so, pasken also like the other halach of Shmuel. What was the other halach of Shmuel, which we learned before? The other Shmuel, the other halach that Shmuel said is, when you come to acquire something from Hefker and you dig in a property, what are you kind of? Just that little area where you dug. You're not kind of the entire property. So you want to say that the second person, Chaptarayin, and he's kind of before me? No problem. But he has that little spot. Not any more than that. So Amalei, let's just finish the in here. So Amalei, Rav Nachman says back to uh, Rav Hone, Baha'i ano kishmaitin svirili. Over here, regarding this halacha, when you dig in a karka, how much are you kind of? Are you kind of only that area? Or are you kind of the whole thing? Regarding this, I actually hold like the halacha that you yourself said, Rav Hone said in the name of Rav. The Amar Rav Hone, Amar Rav. Rav Hone said in the name of Rav, Kiva shenichish ba machish echad, kona kula. That just with one dig in one area of the property, you do acquire the entire thing. So therefore, it says the second one will be kaina and it'll be in kaina the entire property. Okay, now the Gemara brings Adam Meiraim that also spoke about this. Shalach Ravuna Bar Avin, Ravuna Bar Avin sent the halacha to say Yisrael Shalakach Sadam Oyvik Achavim. He buys a property from a guy that he paid for and he didn't get the star yet. A boy Yisrael Achav Echzik Ba. Another yid comes and he's machzik in this property. We can't take it away from the second one. Like Shmuel said, that the second one is kind of. And Rabbi Law and the other Rebbes, they also said the same halacha like Shmuel said.